Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici, I'm CCNA and CCNP certified instructor. We are covering here chapter 5, adjust and troubleshoot single area OSPF of CCNA semester 3. We are completing the packet tracer labs, so we just completed 3 packet tracer labs, so these 3 the top 3, right, this one, this one and this one. Now we're going to move on to troubleshooting a single area OSPF in version 2. So if I just double click this, this is our task. So move to the left here and then start my packet tracer. Okay, while that's loading, let's look at the objectives uh, or scenario. What it says here. In this activity, we will troubleshoot, or you will troubleshoot, OSPF routing issues using ping and show commands to identify the errors in the network connectivity. Then you will doc document errors you discovered and implement an appropriate solution. Finally, you will verify end-to-end -end connectivity is restored. Using testing commands to discover connectivity problems in the network and document the problems using the table. Use the verification command to discover the source of the problem and, and devise the appropriate solution to implement documenting the purpose solution on the documenting table. Implement the solution and then check the problem has been resolved. Okay, good. Let's see. First we're going to see that we can we ping that server. So before in the other lab we could, yeah? So say ping 64.100.1.2 Hmm, says destination host unreachable. Okay, so right away our router is telling us that we can't get there. Let's see PC3. Can PC3 ping it? Ping 64.100.1.2 Nope. What about PC2? I'm busy to ping it, so ping 64.100.1.2. No, I'm assuming. No. Oh, PC2 can ping it. Great. So PC2 can ping it. IP config. Good. So router 2, go to router 2 now and see what configuration do we have there. So enable show IP root. So router 2 knows how to get to everything. Gateway last resort. Um, he knows about the network on router 1, LAN 172.16.1.0. Does he know about the LAN towards the other guys? 192.168.1.0. No, I don't see any other. Okay, what about router 1? What does router 1 know? So enable show IP root. Gateway of last resort is not being set. So when the PC is trying to ping the network 64, it doesn't match to any of these networks. So it will fail. PC1 has got an OSPF, he's learning OSPF about the network on router 2, the LAN on router 2. So if I do show IP OSPF neighbor, so I got a neighbor with router 2. So that's 10222, I'm thinking. So show IP uh, protocol. So router 2, you see, router ID is 102222, and I'm neighbor with that. So I got a neighbor. The problem is because I don't have the gateway of last resort. Well, router 2 has got a gateway to last resort. That just tells me the router 2, the problem could be one of the problems. No, what I'm thinking is the router 2 is not propagating uh, the default network. So the device is R2. R2 is not propagating the default network. The proposed solution would be the to go to the routing protocol so router OSPF1 and say default network originate okay let's have a look if that will fix it so if I go to router 2 so enable config t router OSPF1 default information originate yeah 
not default network, default information originate. So let's copy that. Copy that and there we go, paste it there. Default information originate. Did that resolve the problem? So I'll go to router one. Um, so router one. No, I'm going to PC one and see if I can ping it now. Yes, I can ping it. So I can ping the internet server. So yes, it did resolve it. Excellent. Now, um, if router 3, if I go to router 3, this PC couldn't even go anywhere. So PC, if from PC 3, uh, destination host unreachable, and that's coming from the gateway. So IP config gateway. So if I say if I see router 3 enable show IP root. Router 3 doesn't has not learning anything from OSPF. So show IP OSPF neighbor, nothing. No neighbor. Show run. Has the OSPF actually been configured here? Yes. And it's saying the passive interface G00, so that's good. Network 192.168.1.0, that's our network. That's good. 10.4, which is good. 10.8, it's good. Okay. Everything is fine here, apart from the hello interval has been changed here. So that has to match. So let's have a go in router 2 and see that it's got a. On the actual, yeah, router 2. So does it have router 2 show run? The interface is same, right? The hello interval is default, it's not been set. For example, if I say show IP or SPF interface, what I'm looking is serial 001. That's the connection towards router 3. This connection here. 0001, yeah. Uh, that's for router 2. So I'll put router 2 here, router 3 here. Okay, serial 001. It says the hello 10, dead 40. Right, okay, so here show IP OSPF OSPF interface and serial 001 is here. The hello 20 and 40. Here is 20 and 40, and here is uh, 10 and 40. That's not good. So we have to change, we have to, these two have to match. So either we can reset it to default or we can change the on the router 2. So, where is the problem? The problem is then. Router 3 has got the uh, the hello, hello and dead interval has been changed from defaults. So for solution, go to uh, router 2 and I'll sync the hello and that interval. All right. Will that fix the problem? Well, let's go and have a look. So we go to router two and say, okay, um, config t interface s001 ip ospf hello interval uh, twenty and ip ospf dead interval forty. Right, this matches root 2. Now we have a neighbor. Okay, show IP OSPF, show IP OSPF neighbor. Yep, we have root 2 as our neighbor. And show IP root. And we have the gateway last resort. And we have updates from root 2. Okay, so if I go back to PC3 and try and ping it again, uh, ping the internet server and we can ping it. Okay, that's good. Except that router 3 is got neighbor with router 2 but not with router 1. So there's a neighbor relationship here missing. The router 3 the configuration was fine so we got to router 1. Let's have a look at that. Uh, show run 172.3.0 that's that network 172.16.1.0 that's our LAN and 192 it should be 192 but it's not 
it's 172, 16.10.4. Should be 192. So we have another problem. So R1, R1 is advertising or is configured. Config convert with wrong network statement. So what can we do to fix it? Well, issue network 192.168.10.4.0003 area 0. Okay, let's let's uh, try that. So go to root of one and type no there. Yeah. So config t router OSBF one no this one copy paste and I type network 192.168.10.4.0003 area zero right now we should get a neighbor with uh, with the three yeah we got that neighbor okay so if I go to root the three yep we have the neighbor towards root one Alright, so can we ping from PC1 to PC3 for example? So what were the so IP config here? Can I ping it? Ping 172.16.1.2. Yep. Is it going towards root of one? Straight to root one. So trace out. 172.16.1.2. It's going to our gateway, then it's going 10 to 5, that's route 1, and then to the destination. Yep. I think we have completed. So let's look at the score. 67 out of 100. Oh, we're still missing quite a bit. So check the results here. Oh, the results are not there. Okay, so there's some other problems as well. So we, can, we have to configure. So I think, okay. Okay, so route 1. Show run. Passive interface G00, that's good. 172.16.3.0. That's our network. And 10.4. That's a network between router 1 uh, and router 3. Serial 00, 172.16.3.1. And 172.16.3.0. One ninety one six eight dot ten dot five. Yeah, that's fine. Root of three. Show run. His passive interface G zero zero. We have a loopback interface. We can. But that's not part of the net. Part of the OSPF. Ten dot six one nine two one six eight ten dot six. I think it's correct. Six. Okay. Ten dot six. Yep. Ten dot six on zero. Ten dot ten. Okay, so the IP addresses are 10.10, 10. yeah that's fine, and 10.6, yeah that's fine. Okay, now I did put the default, let's just go back and change it from Rooted two, uh, so no. This copy and paste. Set a default. Yeah, no, and maybe it will fix it. Okay, so in router three, we interface s zero zero one. Again, copy and paste. No. 
okay, did that maybe that was? Yeah, okay. So they didn't want us to change the timers. I don't know. Did you say something somewhere? Hey. But either way, it did work. Yeah. So if we if I change the timers in R2 to match, as long as they match, it's fine. But they they wanted us to set it to default. That's why 100 to 100. Okay. So check the check results. We can't see the result unfortunately, but we have got 100. Yay. Okay, thank you very much and um, thank you for watching my video and hopefully I'll see you in the future videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.